The Dangers of Coffee Mold Toxins Most coffee contains mold toxins, which are harmful to your health. A lot of people enjoy a cup of coffee before they run off to work in the morning. But they probably aren't aware that coffee contains anti-nutrients, compounds that prevent your body from absorbing nutrients. They're found in seeds, plants and beans and can be quite detrimental to your health. Most people are exposed to low doses of these anti-nutrients, like mold toxins, daily. They are in nearly everything we eat but are difficult to detect and invisible to the naked eye. Coffee beans naturally carry these mold toxins. In fact, one study of coffee beans grown in Brazil found that over 90% of the beans were contaminated with mold before they were processed. A further study found that nearly 50% of brewed coffees contain mold. Mold has become such a big problem in the coffee business that several governments, such as South Korea and Japan, have implemented regulations that ban coffee with a high amount of toxins. The United States and Canada, however, haven't set any such limits so it's likely that coffee sold in those countries carries a greater degree of mold. High levels of mold toxins can result in many serious health problems including cardiomyopathy, cancer, hypertension, kidney disease and even brain damage. So pay careful attention to the coffee you buy. Cheaper coffee isn't just made from lower quality beans it's also more likely to contain harmful toxins. And if you think drinking decaf will protect you, think again. It actually contains more mold than caffeinated coffee because caffeine naturally acts as an antifungal defense mechanism. It deters mold and other organisms from growing on beans. To avoid mold exposure, it's best to buy your coffee from shops that use their own roasters, if possible. You should also try to buy single-origin coffee instead of blended coffee. Thanks for watching.